All right, my friends, so welcome to 4.2 of our lesson on colors and lines. We are now going to be building the extension for our color sensor to be able to detect lines on a floor, which is, as we know now, very important, especially for first Lego League, navigation, and getting away from just pointing and clicking and hoping for the best and allowing your robot to use inputs such as a color sensor to make determinations of how to move and navigate. So what we've got here is we've got our robot um, that we built from lesson three where we were using the uh, claw, or not the claw, but the grab and release extension. And so one of the things we're going to have to do here early on is we're going to have to remove this extension, the grab and release extension, to make room for the color sensor. So we'll get into that here in just a second, but I just want you to know we will cover how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into um, this build process. So you can see here, if we go back, we look at this, we can see that the medium motor um, that we installed and this whole extension is not part of this image. So we need to go ahead and remove that. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to unplug uh, the motor first. All right, we're going to release these red pins that we placed on the side. And this is what's nice about this particular kit, especially in the classroom or learning yourself, is that with just four of these pins, we can slide this attachment in and out. And now we are right back to where we need to be with our base driving robot. We can keep this extension in place. And what I just recommend is that you just take those plugs and just plug them right back here on the side so you have them for next time you want to use this particular extension. Or maybe you want to tear it apart because you're going to challenge your kids to design their own or challenge yourself to design your own. That's also fine. So um, this is what I've got here. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside now. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the build. So we're going to take this piece here along with our color sensor. We've got our color sensor here. And you're going to notice that we're using one of these little pieces. This is something in the classroom. I feel like these pieces um, kind of get lost in the shuffle. Not that they're a hot commodity or anything with students. Kind of like the, the caster um, metal balls there for your, to be able to move around easy. Um, but they definitely kind of just go missing. So it might be something for you. I just want to hold on to and keep track of yourself because it does kind of get connected in with the connector pins and everything else. And sometimes one of those ones that are hard to find because it's not a super popular one. You don't usually have a whole lot of them in your kit. Once we got that, we're going to flip that over. As you can see, it looks just like so, just like we have there in the image. And this one is pretty straightforward. So if we go back here, okay, and I've already got my extension now. All right, so if I look at my robot facing just like what we see here in the picture, Looks like I'm just going to slide this on right on that gray connector pin, just like so. And now we're just going to add the wire. And you could actually probably just use the same wire you use for um, your grab and release extension. And this is going to go into port three, just like so. And we are now ready for business. Now, in the model, they removed the ultrasonic sensor. I've just kept mine on, but you can go ahead and remove that if you wish. I'm just going to keep it on. It's one less thing for me to not have to put on later. Um, and now we are in good shape. So, all right, when you're ready, let's head to the next step and start to explore some code and see what this color sensor and following lines is all about. Thank you.